What is up? I have a client and they have a team of their SEO agency. They have a team of writers, that team of writers producing content in Google Docs and they wanted an automation to be built to take that Google Docs content to add links. So replace the keywords in the, in the articles with links to the destination websites, either external or internal, and then take that HTML and upload it to, like publish it to Shopify or publish it to WordPress. So I had to figure out how to take a Google Doc and make that into HTML, strip out the raw content and go to HTML. So this is how you do it. And I'm using Make, I will drop an affiliate link for Make below if you've never messed around with Make. So the first step is you use this downloaded document module. All right, you select HTML fo uh, format for the file and then you replace this with your doc, uh, your document ID. If you don't know document IDs, uh, so when you have a doc in Google Docs, the document ID is this string here. All right, this my my browser is a bit laggy today. This one vt tjh like this 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 character string. So. That is the doc ID that you put that in there. I normally get this from like, you know, if you're doing like a, a this in bulk, you do it from Airtable or a spreadsheet or whatever. So you do that, select HTML format, cool. The next thing you'll notice is that the actual data you get is just gibberish, it's, it's binary. So what you have to do is convert that binary code into um, like, a, like a, t a character string. So it's at, you know, ASCII characters or something like that. Uh, so your input data is gibberish from here. So you're going to get the input data from this first module. I right? uh, choose ASCII and then you, the output of this is the HTML. Now what you'll notice is that HTML has got a lot of extra stuff. So Google in their infinite wisdom replaces, that they have a bunch of extra stuff in there that you probably don't want. I certainly didn't want. So the next step is you use I use a couple of different regular expressions. This is a client specific one, but I'll show you these regular expressions. So I'm using that one and just this one I'm replacing with space to get this. So let me just show you the output so you trust that it works. The output, the input is junk mostly. The output is much, much, much cleaner. So again, what I like to use is regex101.com, and then you can play around with regular expressions. You can do this, uh, you know, substitution thing. So if I wanted to delete the entire contents of the head tag, uh, head, head. Uh, I want to do that, I would do something like let's see if that goes. Um, probably like that. Okay, so now you can see, again, and this is in, in Regex 101, really, really cool tool. You can see how the green stuff is selected. And if you wanted to uh, delete that, you, you could do some like like look negative look aheads and stuff like that. But I've just messed around with the regex here, you can see. So now you have after clean HTML2, you have something that looks a lot nicer. Cool. That is how you do it. Let me know in the comments if you have follow-up questions.